But I would like Misty step in. The reason why I like Burning Hands is because if we create Darkness Fight in the Darkness, he's going to be outnumbered. So having these AoE stuff, I feel like it's going to be quite good. So I am going to continue. Obviously, I would like Misty Step. Misty Step is just so good. He'll probably nick the amulet from Lazelle, though, so he does have access to it. I know he should. I might be able to actually get it here, Cantrip. Uh, Cantrip doesn't mean matter. I will get the minor. Mage Hand might be good. Because only Lazelle has a Mage Hand. So I'm going to give. Oh. I'll give you the mage hand just to make sure we actually have one available to the party because the utility there is quite good. We get Misty Step. Do we replace anything? No, I like all the... How are we doing? I believe Hunger of Hadar does darkness. So I hope I haven't messed this up. Then for feet we go... Sadly, we're not going to get the full benefit from this, though. That's the only problem. So that we get the plus four to charisma here, as we do to here, but... Oh, my... My headphones have totally, like... Just turned off for no reason. Which is very awkward. These wireless headphones, I swear they give me more grief than it's worth. Like they randomly just like disconnect and it's like, nope, not, not playing game today. There we go. Right, then level five. Yes, so this is the one that we want. Hunger of Hadar. Creatures within this black sphere are blinded and take damage at the end of their turn at the start of their turn. That is our bread and butter. And then here we take Devil's Sight so we can see perfectly fine. Do we replace anything? No, I'm happy with everything we got. But they're all... Blinded, so we don't need another AoE in the dark. Then just accept. There we go. And we have Will's build version... Whatever we're on. A million. Alright, then we got Burning Hands. Scorching Ray to really, if we need to like, power down something, we've got that. And then Hunger of Hadar, which is going to be our go-to. We do need to then re-gear Will, sadly, because he's got heavy armor, which he can't use. So we'll send that to camp. What can he use? Or how do we want to use him? Where is our chest? Is our chest? Please let me loot our chesty chest. I don't think we got a weapon for Will, though. Might have to just summon a... Packed weapon, I guess. No, we got some tasty weapons, I suppose. We are going to put um, Will down the line into Bard. So next level, we're going to chuck him in Bard, which I think is going to be quite good. Uh, I should probably look... Uh, spears, pikes... So, let me read this again. So I can become proficient with a weapon that I'm not normally proficient with. Because I believe this would be great for him. Long sword. Let me just read what its thing does. So I can do that. He's not proficient with it. But if I do bind pack weapon, does that work? Yes. 
So now it's his pack weapon, he can use it. Why that's important is because then he can buff people with its song. So he can shriek. So shriek. Uh, minus D4 penalty. Oh, I don't want that. But the sing. All allies within six meters of, a r of range yeah, have one D4 bonus to attack rolls. Which is really, really cool. Obviously the other stuff, but... So I'm trying to just come up with different ways to actually, like, combo off and whatnot. Right. So, what gear do we have? It's a shame we couldn't get him in. Because he can only wear light armor. Sadly. So, while obscured by shadow... So, does obscured by shadow mean in darkness? Like, I might just have to Google this quickly, in all honesty. Uh, but I'll just get free. Ob. Obscured. By. Shadow, is that what it says? Love when the first post is obscured by shadow. is so... So, obscured by shadow... Does that mean obscured by shadow in arms of Hadar? Shadows are dim light. I might try it and then we can go back to it because I feel like if we start a fight Problem is, he's only going to be able to do it a certain amount of time. Smash down hungers of a dar, or a darkness spell. So we're going to have to have someone else with a darkness spell to then back Will up. Because if he's having to go into combat and doing like a level three spell every time, he's going to get. It's only plus one saving throws though. It's not anything amazing. Don't know if I have any armor for him. Uncommon. Light armor, like his one to stealth, blah. See, eventually, I might just give him this because he is going to have this because next level he is going to be a bard. So I might as well just give that to him now then. But then the problem is, is then I'm going to also give him the cap. Because then that's going to, ins when he inspires someone, they also regain hit points. So I feel like that's just going to go hands in hand. Love how easily we get distracted. We haven't really got much for Will. Not that I really know what to put on him, it has to be said. Uh, we've got some other gloves once per turn. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll give this to him. So at least he can dash and jump for free, I guess? Question mark. Yeah, I know. I'm not feeling great about this already. Right, then let's nick. So, Lazel's got the Misty Step Amulet. I don't think Will wants anything here. The Gloves of Underdog would be actually quite good, especially because he's going to be getting stuff, but I feel like actually movement is just as... Okay, we're going to leave it like that and actually like just see how that goes. Uh, just nick the potions here. And then that's absolutely fine. And we have this rare... Oh, God. I don't even want to look at our group. Don't make me look at it. I don't have to look at it. Let's move. Light on my feet. A <laughs> druid's going to carry us. It's going to be fine. I mean, we just expect Shadowheart to carry us, let's be honest. Right, so let's rest here. Then we're going to find that amulet because I've never seen that quest pop up before. So I would really like it for rest. Because I have no idea what happens when we actually get it. And I'm very curious what it actually does. Uh, oh, Scratch is there. And he's a good boy, so we have to talk to him. I should speak up. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Oh, he's the best boy. What you got here, boy? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. 
Oh. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. He's been shopping. Oh, you gotta pet him. You gotta pet him. He's a good boy. It's not only a good boy, he's the best boy. Did he actually get me? Some nice sandals. Ah, oh, he does care. Let's look at our pajamas. Look at them. Very nice. Makes all the difference. It does matter. Right, leave camp. A question for our master monster hunter. How would you approach? <sighs> what does that? Will look like? Oh, see, this has happened a few times on stream or when I've recorded. Like the party member I bring in, their voice is just like glitch to high hell. Right, so we've got the forge down here. And we're not going to... F I don't know. But we're going for this quest. Basically, this amulet was tossed into the fire down here. And we're going to go get it. Can I get out my pyjamas? Thank you. Because apparently, as the journal said, the person that wore it... Alright, don't make me scared. I'm not the best at the game. So when I see this, I get anxiety. So I really struggled against this monster. We're only level 5. I know we can get him on here to hammer him. It's more the case of like, if it goes wrong, what do we do? So, I don't know. I might be tempted. The uh, problem is I would really like Will to be level 6. Lava Elemental. So we've got to come over here to find the amulet. I can't remember that being here last time, but maybe I didn't... don't know if it's part of the quest or what it is. So we're just going to have to be a little bit careful. We know we've got that to deal with, but I'm really curious of what that amulet has to um, offer us. Please no one stand in that. I was waiting for them all three to stand in it. Right, I'm just going to ungroup everyone. I need to put Long Strider on everyone. Just make sure we are out of that. It's Long Strider. Like I said, it's always been that spell that I've never appreciated. And then you use it and you realise actually you can get where you're going. Right. Let's do Enhanced Leap on... My druid fast. Actually, no, that's shadow heart fast. It's going to be very awkward to fight this creature. Uh, I'm going to go in turn-based mode because that creature might come round as I'm doing this, and I don't want to be like mega caught out. Not that I think it's going to cause us too many problems. But we've got no reason to um, risk anything at the moment. You know, we are doing well at the moment, it has to be said. Can I just move you up, Shadowheart? I'll take this way. What now? Just so we're out of the way, because I don't know if that's... I imagine that bit was going to blow up with fire. I've got a long road ahead. Um, exit. Enhanced leap. Did you just get hit? You did. Starion. Move there. Turn based mode. I'm trying to get in position before that comes round. And I'm trying not to lose turns because I want to, when it comes round, actually have my turn so I can actually respond to whatever it does. This is going to be a hella awkward fight though. So exit. Is this the best place to fight it? Not really. I don't think we have a better option. Why the hell's a lava element? No wonder the lake's so volatile. I wonder if that calms it down once we kill that. Just, is it gonna fight us? The presence of this creature disturbs nearby lava. 
Oh, if it starts his turn in lava, it regains 20 to 120 hit points. Okay, that's cool. It didn't attack us. I don't know if it's just because of line of sight or whatnot. Though. Right. Astarion, just jump, my man. Back. Right, let's get away from this. As if Shadowheart can jump more than you. Right, get up there. Well, step on town to jumping town. Try not to take silly damage because I imagine we're... Well, we are going to fight that thing. Problem is we fight it in the lava and it basically kills us because it will just outlast us. There we go. Okay, so we've got a chest here. Starion, if you don't mind, my man. Just auto-complete. <laughs> Uh, just use the thieves tools. Cool. Let's see what we got. I'm hoping this is the amulet. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Sentinel amulet. Oh, is this a monk thing? You can talk to the amulet. You get two key points. Oh, wow. What a weapon. What a... This really makes me want to put Lazel into a monk. I've got to put it on to talk to it, right? <laughs> the amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth. Like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. Ha! Can thou endure? What is happening? What are you doing to me? The urge to laugh intensifies. <laughs> Talking jewellery, that's hilarious. Endure! Ah, uh, use my wisdom, fight the urge. That's hilarious. Now I'm laughing in real life. Oh my god. Oh, natural one. That's because I was laughing in real life. <laughs> it had me dirty. Inspiration, a thousand percent. Yeah. Easy peasy. I'm not saying easy, but I'm saying peasy. The laugh urge fades. A quiet power spreads from hand to head and down to your feet. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh, if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Thou art the wonder! Return me, take me home, and thou shalt glow with blessings! Return you where to whom? To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwen. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, yeah, are you a ghost? What happened to you? A ghost? <laughs> I am sunlight on water, Jew. Charons broke my body, but my spirit they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Thou shalt return me home. It is written. That thing's tainted. Better to leave it than bear a dead man's grudges. Yeah, I'll take you to your granddaughter. Um, actually, let's do an investigation, because I've never seen this before. Um, oh, insight. Yes, please. Oh, I get a lot of boosts for this. 
What is its true intentions? Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. It might be harmless. Keyword might. Beneath the rampant joy you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you. But that doesn't mean he won't. Doesn't wish to harm you, but that doesn't mean he won't. The problem is you can take that anyway. And take that like anyway, because it's like doesn't mean he won't. It just means it's like he doesn't wish to, but he might have to. Do you know what I mean? Uh, investigation. We get the plus three from that headband. Great. I am going to use my inspiration here because I'm very curious. Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. Ah, uh, really? See, I wish here it would give me the ability to be like, ask. Shadow Heart or like move to another character, do you know what I mean? Like you would do in like proper D&D. &D. I understand that it might be hard to like program or whatnot, but it's like especially when you've got other characters that are good at religion or whatnot. Well, like you because you could do like some characters or like, like let's say you're talking to a boss and you want to just swap it to like ask Shadow Heart. You could have the boss like deny that and go, no, I am talking to you or something like that. But uh, consider the inscribed image. What could it mean? I'm a little bit concerned that he might be purposely trapped in this amulet. So, consider it. What could it mean? Nice. You recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander, god of dawn and renewal. Whatever madness the spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies, followers of Shah. And this madness may flow into you. Okay, I'll take you to your granddaughter at Worms Crossing. I shall walk with you. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> well, I'm not equipped in it, so stop it. You feel a chuckle coming on. But it soon fades. It's like taking the ring to Mordor, but you just want to laugh all the way. <laughs> How funny. So I, I assume... Liv said the Open Hand Temple in Worms Crossing. Well, I definitely haven't been to Worms Crossing, right? I wish I could open up these maps without having to, like... Unless there is a way and I'm just a fool. I wish there was a way to, like, uh, like have a look at other maps. So we've got the Harper stash over there. We have got the Forge here. I'm not sure we can do it at this level, though. Right, do we want to... This lava elemental that's walking around, is he stopping us doing anything? I'm trying to see if there's, like... Because I know it's... Pain, but we're about to leave. Is there something round here? So it makes me think he's doing this to stop or not, you know. He's designed to do this to stop us getting. So I'm just trying to have a look to see if there is anything around here. That doesn't look like it, does there? And I'm just like totally like. I can't see anything. Skeleton there? So I imagine we could take this quite easily. I'm just trying to work out what it actually gets us. I guess it's experience points, I guess. There's nothing around here, though. There's some skeletons. A halberd. I can get under here and there's another skeleton. I'm trying to see if there's like a chest or anything under here. Right. 
how do we want to kick this off then? As if he's gone round there, the little tall. Alright, we probably want to really back on here because we want him to fight us up here. Watch him AOE me into absolutely oblivion. So, let's ungroup everyone. Hired. I know he's going to get healed, but I have to get him out, so. Alright, surprise turn. So his weakness is arrow. Arrow is um, ice or whatever. Is it ice? Cold. Big bit of damage. Can't do any more. I should have got everyone ready. Oh, he doesn't even have a ranged weapon. I'm a tool. I suppose I can get the sing ready. Let's get a sing. So all allies within six meters of range have one d4 bonus to attack rolls. Especially if I'm turning him into a bard, he's gonna have a lot of buffs available for everyone. Um, he's going to heal immediately. I should have probably planned this out by swapping some magic on everyone, but... God, my druid's just as useless. Not useless, just not very good. I'll throw a alchemist fire at him. That doesn't sound clever, though, does it? Not the worst decision I've ever made. Um... Oh, I can throw a, throw a bomb. Uh, let's get a bit closer. Let's get a bit closer before I accidentally throw it as Starion. Yeah, I can throw a bomb down now. Yep, cool. 42 more. Health, just move out the way. And Shadow Heart come over here. And do Guiding Bowl at level 2. Nice. I don't want to blow our whole load while we're up here. Do I get another turn because he was surprised? Yep, so our star should be able to finish this, so we'll go Hunter's Mark. And then Pew Pew. Oh, we did heal though. The helmet! Oh no, I was like... Wait a minute, he's got Eldritch Blast. Why am I not using Eldritch Blast? It's not the worst thing I've ever done, so don't worry about it. As if you can't see him from there. Everyone else can. Don't be at all. Nice. Massive damage. Massive damage. Still on my feet. On my way. Here goes nothing. Oh, as if that hit us. My bad. My bad, everyone. My bad. <laughs> Just step back. Right, yes, let's end this. Guiding Bolt, level one. Time to meet your maker. Bang. Nice. Oh, well, apart from me, like, exploding up everyone, but apart from that, very nice. Okay, so, the question is, what did that actually give us? One bone. Because it calmed down the lava. Wondered if there was going to be like Mithra or something around her. So I'll just take my druid around. Just call everyone here. Uh, I'll just chuck a short rest. Well, it looks like I'm getting Subway for lunch. Look at me, I'm living the dream. Um. A meatball sub. It's the best. Didn't used to like meatballs. I used to be a very like cheese, cheese and chicken sort of person. 
like bacon ranch, like it's bacon cheese and... If you don't shut your... Right, let's jump around and see if there's any loot, if there was, if that was even worth... I mean, it got... Oh. Well, I thought I was being impressive there by using enhanced loot. Another bone. A vase. Oh, Halberg down here. Ungroup. I don't want everyone to follow me around. It's makes, oh no, don't. No, 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 no. I bet it's close at hand. You just stood in lava, you silly old turd. You're gonna have to heal yourself now. You got yourself in this trouble. Just wasting all my healing potions. Not even don't. Bad daily office, that's what we'll put that down to. Uh, so let's have a look at that halberd. One to ten. Ugh, brilliant. Add to wares. Where's that amulet in here? There. Seems like I want that on a monk, right? I really want to do a monk build there, like. Act 1 has so much stuff for monks, it's actually crazy. We're druids. I don't really have anything for my druid. Oh god, um... Right, let's jump over here fast. Another halberd. Oh, a bottle. Is there nothing in here? Seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Like, does it feel like that's stopping me from, um... Is there anything under here? A skeleton, but... really get in there. So there's that corner bit there that I'm more curious about. Because I'm very much... Sorry, I'm getting my cheesy Doritos. You know, the important stuff. It seems weird there's nothing, like, I don't want to, I hate when you watch people and they just, like, are totally blind. I feel like that's what I'm doing. It's just like, it feels like, unless it's got an item, I suppose. So, I shouldn't assume everything just gives me items, I guess. Yeah, loot it, no, I didn't loot that one. A candle. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get the right angle. This is gonna hurt. A pearl. Ah. Okay. Get down there. Big old jump. Skeleton. Add my key. To what? Wait, people need to start labelling their keys. It gets to the point where it's so irresponsible. Now I'm just trying to see if there's anywhere like I can... It feels like it's for that key. Add my key. No, that'd be for that chest though. Okay. Just having one more good luck and then I'm calling up. Yeah, okay. It's just my druid that has no jump. I suppose she's got no strength. Which then begs the question, why am I doing this all with my druid? Okay. 
Well, are you alright? Are you just trying to, like, genocide yourself? Are we doing the forge? Are we doing the forge is a very good question. Because it's either the creature at the forge, we go to the hag, or we do near. Don't like a lot of them. I'll be honest, I have no faith in Will and my team. <laughs> Sorry, Will. Just feels wrong not to have, like, Lazel or Karlak or someone in. Let's go... to the hag. Activate the forge. Uh, oh, we do have the stash around there. Now I am just fully delaying. Fully delaying whatever I'm doing. Slow down. We'll sell here. We have got the stash and there is some nice items as well. Is there? It could be a full, full lie. Full, just lying to anyone watching. <laughs> just fully like, yeah, no, there's good items. There definitely is. Let's come down here. I'm looking forward to my lunch now. Problem is, is like after Christmas, like over Christmas, I feel like I ate so much tonight. Looks like the place the dark Justicia's letter mentioned. But where's the stash? Lots of There's chests. Like that. No, the harpers are too smart for that. Okay, so what are you implying? I don't know what you're implying. It just all I know is it makes me nervous. That's curious. Okay. Be careful. There are traps about. How interesting. So why is that up? Why would you put all the other chests in plain sight but not that one? This arm. Easy. You too. Keep an eye out for any passing vagrants. A lock pick. Yeah, I have no I can't even remember what item is in here. Not great. Not far off. Yeah, really. To be fair, it was really between monk or druids that I was gonna start this playthrough. Scroll of banishment is very nice. Scroll of evidence. What's that? The first few inches of this scroll are written in formal, elaborate script. To the Emerald Enclave and those deemed worthy to see this record, greetings from those who harp. Know ye that when country form, let her intent be known, an alliance between the Harpers and the Emerald Enclave. Okay, so the Harpers were the good guys, question mark? What is that? Oh damn, oh damn. Okay, yep, yeah, no, I'm surprised, pretty surprised. Alright, so Will's turn fast. The level three mimics. Will's one of the best. So who goes next? You go next and you go next. So I could disable you both with Hunger of Hadar. I've got the movement to do it. So I come down here. Hunger of... Oh, I can click it. 
Just thinking to get us all into darkness. Let me read it. Creatures within this black sphere are blinded and take damage. Does this include me? I'm not. These aren't. Only one way to find out. Every, yeah, everyone's under Hadar apart. Even Will. Okay. That's not how I meant that to go down, I'm going to be honest. Okay, that is the worst thing I've ever seen. So I thought, because he had Devil's Sight, I might have, like, he, like killed myself. Um, I thought because he had Devil's Sight that he could then fight in the darkness. Oh, no. Not good. Okay, I'm glad that actually got broken there. Right, time for my druid to put this... Right, so you're going to go next. So I'm going to go to Flaming Sphere at level 2. Pop that there. Then I'm going to go straight away into Bear Form. There we go. That is a good opener. Sorry, Shadowheart. The weapon stolen is so miserable. Um... We're not in panic mode here, but we do need to be careful. I'm getting rid of Will. I'm bringing, like, Karlak back. You wanna... You wanna touch me, do ya? Not bad. Spiritual weapon. Level 3. Nice. Uh... Astarian... Oh, it sucks your own melee. Do I just take the opportunity of attack? I'm just going to take it. Cool. Come up here. Then we go reapply hex. And we go pew. Eleven. Pew. Damn. Will is then going to put Hex on you. I'm going to sneeze. Oh yeah, we can't do that now. Uh, just do Eldritch Blast, even with the 64. Big damage. Oh. I blame Will for everything. I just can't build a warlock. Every time I try and build a warlock, it just goes bad. Opportunity of attack, yes please. Oh, you're only punching, aren't you? It's the most negative thing about this. Uh, guiding Bolt, level 2. Actually, no, just get rid of that one. Nice. Here are creature you can see, level 2, Will. So good at healing. Spiritual weapon. We're splitting targets, which is not what we should do. Uh, take the opportunity of attack. Ah, oh, that is miserable. That's made me sulk. Eldritch blast. That one up there. We should have moved to the high ground before we did it and reapplied the hex. But that's what it is. No time for mercy. Starion is dead. Uh, uh, 
I'm gonna do bonus action mass heal. So then that gets a starring up. Then I can touch him with level two and get blade ward on him as well. This is why I went life domain with Shadow Heart. She is an absolute titanic healer. And we get into a problem and she immediately brings us back. So our damage dealers, although they're not doing much damage at the moment, can then continue. Oh, Starion losing his weapons is just awkward. Make it hurt. Well, Eldritch Blast. Right, like, can I actually like think about stuff before I do it? He's already had his weapon stole. What module? Have they got like resistances? Yeah. I wondered why my druid wasn't doing much damage. It's probably them resistances really hamstring my druids. Like really hamstring. Guiding bowl. Hopefully that finishes you. Nice. Then just level one heal Astaria. Which is still a nine. It's still very good. Although more interesting, I wonder if because we're a larger creature, that's why the Mimic can't actually hit my um, Druid in bear form. Nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> we get our weapons back. Lovely. Very kind. And crossbow, and crossbow. Yeah, I sort of did myself in by using Will so badly there. Your armor class increases by one. In addition, if you have Boretic Inspiration, you gain one more use of it. That's interesting, because Will's build... I might just go back to camp. Let's make sure I actually picked up everyone's Shadow Heart. You had that mace. Starring, you had both hand crossbows. I need to make sure I'm gearing weapons up on people as well. You had that. Is there stuff up here? No, I looted all this. Did not go down there. Chest over there that I can't remember if I got. Okay, I was right to be nervous. I'm always a little bit calm and calm. I wouldn't. Oh, uh, yeah, so go to camp quickly. So Will might be uh, dumb touch until level six if I'm gonna do him into bards because then a lot of his stuff is going to come at level six. Okay. Again, this is why I want it quite a fluid playthrough where I can bring people in and out. But I go in here. And open up his... Actually, I want to go tab. So the gloves I picked up... will go to Will. The Willy the boy! Gate. Where are you going? This better be good. And I think Will would be like a proper blues singer after, like, he got the horns like, my lady keeping me down. That's how I picture it. Anyway, so, you got the Blazer of Benevolence. So when you inspire an ally, you gain four temporary hit points. We have the Gloves, so your armor class increases by one. In addition, if you have Beretic Inspiration, you get one more use of it. Then have the hat, so when you inspire an ally using Beretic Inspiration, they regain 1 to 6 hit points. On top of the temporary hit points that you're going to get, right? And you gain another one. That's quite a nice little combo there. Like, then have we got anything like the boots? See, look, a monk would be great. I'm really tempted to turn Lazel into a monk. Very tempting. 
Uh, so I can chuck that in there. That in there. Walk Fang. I don't think I'll ever want that, but like I said, I just want to keep all my magical items together. And Will, I'm sorry. Can't give up now. It's not been working out, has it? Well met. She look ridiculous. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. I think a Starion does too much damage, right? And we just accepted that conclusion. See, I really like Karlak. Not over, then through. Speak. I made a mistake. Don't leave me. It is done. Oh. She's too important at this bit because she can trip and do all that. Karlak will come to her own when the bleed builds. So she needs level six. Will needs level six. Because then Will will be able to do all his bardic stuff. That will come in great handy. Gail is just too squashy. Gets targeted too much. And then we're back. Shall we go fight the hag? So let's just see. Um, do I need to? Don't touch me. Yeah, I do Have need to long rest. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's a long rest. No one wants to talk. Fine, doesn't bother me. And then we do the hag, we get the extra. Because we'd just be giving it to us for the extra constitution. We'd get plus four on constitution. Oh, I did want to swap out. Oh, but I can't swap out my stuff now. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All them are dealt with. Move deep and move. So let's go to the colony. Let's sell some stuff. Such depth to the shadows. Yes. I don't care what others She's say about the underdog. It's beautiful down here. Welcome back. No, I just Have want to trade. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. So my shoes, pal. Surprisingly, I'm selling you a lot of shoes. Just don't read into it. It's like a thing I've got where I like to nick people's shoes. Evidently. I do like that, just no one's... No one can really wear it. So how much coinage have we got? We got a lot. I did want to have a look. What was that? Just Scorching Ray. The wear I can see in the dark up to 12. When you burn an enemy, you gain two turns of heat. Extra magic missile. I don't hate that. Okay. Very well. Yeah, get back to your mushrooms. Right, I can't remember what you have to trade down here, but I would just like to check. So need to make sure we're just getting everything as we go. 
Hmm. We'll be clearing out soon enough. Empty handed, of course. Had a fawns. I do like that clears poison, but. So the only bit of the Underdark that we haven't done is this bit over here. Sadly, there's not a quick way to um, do it. So let's finish up the Underdark, I guess. So we haven't got much more to do. So we'll probably set it up. So then next time out, we complete the Underdark. I'm not delaying doing the hag. I don't know what you mean. I'm not delaying doing anything. But... Now, I have to admit, that was a really, really interesting quest, so I was just a bit, like, taken back. But that's the fun part of, like, honor mode. And especially, like, I'm enjoying the way I'm playing this. Like, there's no rush. There's no competition. We're just trying to do everything cool, calm, and collective. Collected. Can everyone jump up here? Look at that. Um, they've all disappeared. Ouch. <laughs> Don't say this is poisoned. But then it disappears again. Too high. Oh, I'm not in group. Is there a teleport at the top? Look at that. And then it disappears. A teleport at the top. Not like I would want. I don't know why I'm going through this. This is oh, this is not a clever idea. Wall. Can't remember too much about this little section. Open sesame. Another illusion. Is anything real down here? Nope. I thought this just linked us over to where the hag was, but maybe I'm really misremembering. Yeah. So I believe then that's the Underdark all done. Which probably leads us off quite nicely to fight the Hag next time. I'm really tempted to turn Lazel into a um, monk fighter. Problem is I'm not really going to use her because I want to run uh, Makarlak this playthrough. Or, you know, more. Because we're pretty much keeping Lazel... We're going to finish the hag. Then we want to do... Lazel's story, but we'll have to clear out everything at the bottom first. So what I'll do... I did want to go in this way. 
Can I walk around here? No. That's annoying. There's good fun to be had in the hag's house. Not be cursed. Hello, sweetness. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? No, I'm alright. Uh, I'm here to trade. So, if we're going to fight you... I'm going to buy this weapon. I don't think I'm going to use it, but just because if I'm planning on doing this playthrough for a very long time, I don't want to ever... It was basically... um. You gain plus one bonus to unarmed attack, which is really good for Monk. But let's have it, just in case we ever decide to make a Monk, at least then we've got the got it, do you know what I mean? Um, and then I'll buy three more Hill Giants, because again, then we're stacked up on that. And then I think that's pretty much all I want from you. And then we're... We'll took all your potions. That's awkward. Here for whatever you need, Petal. Thanks. I'm going to cut you down next time out. Well, as always, thank you very much, party people. It's a good place to leave it. And we will take Aunt EF4 down next time. No pressure. <laughs> Never any pressure. <laughs>